Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel and again I'm back and I'm Richelle. I'm a home-based online English tutor in Rare Job and uh, in this video I'm going to share some tips again on how to pass the interview. So maybe nagiging mas naging mas strict na sila ngayon kasi syempre mas madami ng estudyante nag-level up na rin tapos mas mataas na rin yung standards ng mga ng mga estudyante and there are a lot of applicants okay so yun yung mga reasons uh, possible na naging mas strict na sila so i'm going to share additional tips from the previous tips that i have given okay so noon ang interview was 30 minutes lang. So, interview and a short demo lesson. So, 30 minutes lang siya. Pero ngayon, one hour na. Okay? Pero, to, uh, ngayon, wala na siyang demo lesson. Meron lang siyang short role play. Pero, di ba, mas mahaba na nga yung, ano, yung interview. So, one hour na siya. So, isipin mo kung paano, parang, Mm, ano pa ba, ano ba yung mga questions, ano ba yung dap, tinatanong nila, paano ba dapat magsalita, and paano nga ba ipapasa yung interview, and of course, yung short role play nga. So, I'm going to share um, just simple tips ulit, and I hope na makatulong sa mga gustong magtrabaho sa rare job. Um, so, first is, we have to be polite and friendly. If we are talking sa, this is for the interview ha, if we are talking, um, even though you have a lot of achievements or kung ano yung narating mo na, we still have to be polite, uh, friendly, and humble. Kasi syempre makikita ng, ng trainer or yung interviewer kung medyo mayabang tayo sa pagsagot, ganyan, na sinasabi mo you have a lot of experiences and um, magaling ka, ganyan, ganyan. Or depende yun sa pagsasabi, that's good to, to share your, your experiences, very good, and it's good to share your strengths. Pero you have to say it in a nice way, hindi yung medyo Paya, medyo mayabang yung dating, ganyan. So, sasabihin na ng interviewer na merong attitude yung tao na kausap niya. So, syempre, um, as a tutor, we have to be friendly to our students. So, kung meron kang attitude, possible na hindi ka magugustuhan ng estudyante mo. So, syempre, hindi ka rin magugustuhan ng interviewer. So, we have to be polite be friendly and be humble in answering the questions. And also, uh, we have to make sure that we are honest. We are we are honest with our uh, with the quest with the answers that we are providing. Okay, hindi yung iniimbento mo lang ganyan, kunyari ano yung mga dahilan mo, bakit gusto mong magtrabaho sa rare job or ano yung dahilan mo kung bakit gusto mong mag home base kasi ganun tatanungin nila yung mga yun and of course um, sa hobbies din we have to ganito merong mga bumabagsak sa sa isa sa question sa question na or sa mga sagot about hobbies kasi syempre di ba pag tatanungin kayo please tell me something about yourself so of course you have given your name your information your educational background your work experiences ganyan and sometimes we share our hobbies example i love watching movies so that's uh another yung parang opportunity na yun ni ni interviewer to ask more questions about you so oh Example, tatanungin niya, oh, you love movies. So, what was the most recent movie you wa you've watched? Or, what is your favorite movie? Tatanungin niya yun. So, um, if sinabi mong example, my favorite movie is A Walk to Remember. Oh, that's great. What is what 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 is it about? So, tatanungin din ng, ng interviewer kung ano yung story no ng movie na yun na pinanood mo kasi doon ka rin i-gauge kung paano ka magsalita, paano mo i-deliver yung answer mo. So kunyari sinabi mo a walk to remember pero hindi mo pala napanood yun. O di kaya sinabi mo na you love watching movies pero wala ka pa lang uh, napanood na movie or wala kang natatanda ang movie ay di hindi ka na makakasagot di ba sa mga follow up questions or hindi mo na ma-explain yung movie na sinabi mo o di kaya you say you you said uh, i love listening to music 
Great! Who is your favorite singer? So, kailangan nakaredy tayo. Um, so, singer, kunyari sinabi mo si Taylor Swift. My, Taylor Swift. My favorite uh, singer is Taylor Swift. Oh, why do you like her? Or what's yan? Tatanawin ko ano yung paborito mong kanta na kinanta ni Taylor Swift. Okay? So, kailangan, we have to be honest din sa mga simpleng bagay na isi-share natin about ourselves. Okay? And, um, Next is, uh, we have to uh, concentrate, uh, look at the camera, okay? Maki, ma tingnan mo yung camera ng, ng laptop mo or yung webcam mo para at least diretso siya. Pag titingnan ka ng, pag titingnan ni interviewer yung, yung video mo, makikita niya na para nakikipag eye to eye ka. Hindi yung patingin-tingin ka sa paligid mo, ganyan, o di kaya galaw ka ng galaw, kasi hindi ka nagpakali, hindi mo na alam kung ano yung isasagot mo, hindi ka na comfortable, ganun. So, syempre, madidistract yung interviewer mo. Maintindihan naman nila if you are nervous, pero wag mo namang masyadong galaw ng galaw. And of course, if the interviewer asks you, how are you today? So, it's okay, it's okay to say that I'm, I'm doing great, um, but I'm a little nervous because uh, this is my first time to apply as an online English tutor. Ganun. Or, I'm, I'm doing great. Um, I'm, I feel nervous, uh, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing great and I'll do my best in this interview. Uh, ganun. So, it's okay to say that you are nervous. And at least, um, pag nag na medyo nararatal tayo sa pagsasalita, then at least maintindihan naman ni, ni interviewer mo na ninenervyos ka nga. Pero not so much naman na yung hindi ka na makapagsalita dahil sa sobrang kaba. Okay, so we still have to make sure that uh, we are confident with our answers. And we, we talk... Um, Con we, t we, talk we should talk in a confident way too. But not too much naman, hindi nga yung masyadong mayabang. Okay, so just uh, inhale, exhale, okay, para mawala yung kaba. And uh, what else? May mga tanong din sila about mga out of the blue questions. Na yung example is, if you are an animal, what animal would you be? So mga ganong questions, di ba? Or... Um, which do you prefer, like this or like that? So, papipiliin ka ng, ng interviewer kung ano yung i-choose mo sa option A at option B. So, mga ganun. And um, they, also, they will also ask, what is your weakness? So, pwede kang mag-share ng weakness mo, but you have to make sure that if follow up mo siya ng something positive. Na example, um, if you don't have experience, so... For me, I, I think my weakness in this kind of job is my lack of experience because I have never tried teaching online before. But I'll make sure that I will learn more. I will do my best to learn the things that I need to learn about this job. And uh, I will make sure to learn the skills too that I need in order for me to be an effective tutor to my students even though I don't have any ex experiences. So, mga ganun, i-quote mo siya ng something positive. O di kaya, I am, um, uh, so, ma uh, I think for me, my, my weakness is my lack of self-confidence. But, I am doing my best to overcome it by making sure that I also develop my skills in order for me to feel confident with the, with the um, service that I can provide in my job. Or, I am doing my best to learn as much as I can about my about the things that I need to learn uh, that are related to my job. So, i-ano mo siya? Paano mo nga ba i-overcome yung lack of self-confidence mo? So, of course, so sometimes we are, we, are not too, we are not confident with ourselves because nga medyo kulang tayo sa mga... Uh, experience or di kaya hindi natin alam yung mga bagay-bagay may mga bagay-bagay tayong hindi alam pero we can overcome that by learning by helping yourself to learn and to improve para maging mas more comf para maging more comfortable ka or confident ka for sa sarili mo okay so iko-quote mo siya ng something positive on how you will overcome it Okay? So, mga ganun, mga ganun mga questions na ngayon yung mga tinatanong nila. Hindi na yung mga simpleng questions before. And, um, magsisend sila ng, uh, yung interviewer mo magsisend ng short materials sa, 
uh, chat box mo on the spot, okay? Hindi siya ahead of time. So, the material, the, the short material for your role play will not be sent to you ahead of time. It will be sent to you while having your interview. So, make sure that you are going to check the material. So, makikita mo doon kung ano yung topic. Kunyari, uh, okay, so... Okay, Miss. So, okay, Miss Rochelle, I sent you a short material in your chat box. Please uh, check it. We are going to discuss that topic. I will act as your student, and you will be my tutor. So, yung topic na yun yung idi discuss nyo. So, very short lang siya. Okay, make sure that you don't talk too much. Hindi ikaw yung nagsasalita lang. You have to give your student the chance to uh, talk to. Kailang 70% talk time sa student mo and 30% sa'yo. Para at least, mas madami siyang, um, parang binigyan mo siya ng chance to, to um, express himself and of course, that will be your opportunity to, to gauge the, um, gauge yung, to gauge or to assess your student. And example, kunyari yung topic nila is, yung topic nyo is singular and plural. So, nandun yung meaning ng singular, nandun yung meaning ng plural. So, ipapabasa mo yun sa estudyante mo. It's good if you will let the student read, hindi ikaw yung magbabasa. So, for example, okay, so student san, today we are going to talk about singular and plural nouns. Okay, so... Minsan tatanungin ng estudyante mo, what is singular? What is plural? Okay? So, you have to, in those kinds of questions, mga, ang meaning, kung magtatanong sila kung ano, ibig sabihin ng ganito, ibig sabihin ng ganyan, make sure to give the, uh, the simplest meaning na pwede mong ibigay. Kasi, just remember na beginners yung mga estudyante mo. Consider na yung estudyante mo is a beginner. So, you have to to give the simplest meaning na pwede mong ibigay dun sa word na tinatanong niya. And, make sure to type in the chat box. So, example. So, pag tinanong ng estudyante mo, what is singular? Okay. So, okay, student san, singular means only one. I will type in your chat box. So, type mo siya. Oh, send mo na. Can you see it? Yes. So, sasabi ng estudyante mo, yes. Okay, good. Now, I will send you an example. So, it's good if you can send an example too. Okay? So, magta-type ka ng, ng, um, ng sentence, very simple sentence using the word na tinanong ng estudyante mo. I-send mo sa kanya, tas ipabasa mo. Okay, student son, can you read the sentence I sent? Okay, good. Is it clear? Okay, you have to check if the student uh, was able to understand the sentence that you have sent. Okay, good. So, pagtapos nyo yung topic na yon sa meaning ng singular and plural, may mga exercises sa baba. So, may, may mga exercises sa baba. Um, make sure na your student will read. Okay, not you. Hindi ko yung managbabasa. So, give the, your student the chance to read and to give the correct or to choose the correct answer. So, example, if the if the student's answer was wrong, then you can say, um, okay, student son, you said the child are crying. So, child is only one. Are is used for two or many. So, what it, what should be the correct answer? Okay, so, marirealize na ng estudyante mo na mali yung sagot niya. So, kukunin niya yung, ito-choose niya ulit yung, papalitan na niya yung answer niya na mali, tapos ito-choose na niya yung tama. Kasi na-explain mo kung bakit. Don't make lengthy explanations kasi malilito yung estudyante. Doon na sila malilito kung me, ma, masyadong madami or masyadong lengthy yung explanation natin doon sa questions nila. Okay, so those are my tips. And of course, make sure to use the chat box as much as you can. Okay, 
Okay, so that's it. Those are the tips that I can give. Make sure that um, you talk friendly um, or you have to talk in a nice way. Uh, talk politely, uh, talk, uh, and then don't be uh, mayabang nga sa pagsagot. Let's be humble para at least hindi ma, -off, ma hindi Kasi syempre pag ikaw pag may masyadong mayabang yung kausap mo, di ba? Pangit yung pakiramdam mo. So, syempre, si interviewer, sasabihin din niya na hindi maganda yung pakiramdam niya sa'yo, di hindi kanya tatanggapin, hindi kanya ipapas doon sa interview at sa demo lesson. Okay, so thank you so much again. I hope this, uh, uh, these simple tips that I have given will be helpful para maka maging productive tayo sa bahay and uh, to earn income uh, from while, while staying home, while staying safe, and, of course, while spending time with our family. Thank you so much, guys. Stay safe, everyone. And good luck. Bye.